There are times in our lives when we obviously go off the main track and we go onto a side road or even onto a narrow pathway that detours us or takes us down a route that we weren't necessarily expecting. But when we get pushed into these avenues and these changes of direction, is it merely a hindrance? Is it a problem? Are there challenges to face? Are there things that we potentially have missed and overlooked that need our attention? Or is it merely just re-guidance from potentially having taken a wrong path or a detour at varying parts of our lives? Because when we get to the point of addressing and stepping back from the day-to-day and having a look at it from a different perspective and perception, then what it allows us to do is it allows us to then recalibrate to where we are and potentially open up new possibilities and ways of looking at wider scenarios and situations and then finding the beauty in that situation that could then potentially lead us to getting to the point of having newer experiences and having more varied and wider experiences. But for a lot of the time, we do eventually come back to what would then be the main path and the main direction. But when we have a look at it from our perspective or our angle specifically, then we end up not necessarily knowing where we're going to end up. But it's just like driving, for instance. So when we drive, we're on pretty much autopilot. While we're learning to drive, it's slightly different because we have to learn which gears to select, what speed. You've then got the three pedals that you then have to push in a certain order at a certain time. And then it becomes very much a learning curve that we then have to get through and get beyond. But then at that point, we then start to remember and recognize exactly what's going on and what's there and what's going on before it. So we then switch at this point to what then becomes the subconscious behaviors and the subconscious ways of doing things. And these then don't necessarily allow us to take alternative paths. Because what we're then doing is we're just running behaviors and habits and patterns. And these behaviors, habits and patterns will lead to the same outcome, regardless and varied on exactly what's going on. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to go back to that phase whereby we're learning. And in doing so, we're then going to get to a position whereby we can learn new ways and new behaviors. These can then allow us to take more options or better options. And rather than just being on autopilot, as you would be as if you were in a vehicle or a car, what we're then looking at is the facility to not just get in the driver's seat, not just sit there and have a way of doing things, not just being reactive to what shows and prevents to us in front, be it an accident, be it a bump in the road, be it a stop sign, or be it a detour. And then what that allows us to do is use our critical thinking, which has been shut off or restricted or closed. And then eventually we'll get back to the position whereby we can then start thinking things through. We can then start making aligned decisions and we can then start getting ourselves into a position whereby we're making choices that are beneficial for our lives. But ultimately, at the end of the day, regardless of the decision or the choice you've made, at some point you'll always end up back on the main road. And you'll always end up making aligned choices for where you're at when you're there. So no matter where you are in your life, no matter how you're looking at things, no matter what choices and options you believe you have, regardless of the paths that you take, you'll always be able to get back to the main path and the main road.